ascending triangle. As continuation patterns, ascending triangles talk about two different forces working simultaneously in a chart. It always happens, bulls versus bears. But with ascending triangles, the bears are located in a very concentrated area, while bulls are buying in the development of an uptrend. This advanced forks chart pattern happens when a pair follows a rising trend line. Still, the unit starts a consolidation phase at a certain point, failing to make new highs as the unit is rejected several times in the same area. The entry signal comes when the forks pair breaks above the triangle's upper side, which triggers a rally. The profit target is then set taking the number of pips between the initial low of the triangle and the break level. That number is added to the entry price level, and the sum will give you the profit target. Of course, the pattern fails if the price action falls below the upward sloping trend line instead of breaking above the triangle. Descending triangle. Descending triangles are another type of continuation pattern. Obviously, these are the opposite of ascending triangles. These occur when a forks pair is in a downtrend and then begins a consolidation phase. Then, after breaking the triangle to the downside, it triggers a further renewed downwards movement. The signal is generated when the pair breaks below the supportive lower line of the triangle. The profit target goes with the sum of the pips between the triangle's initial high and the breaking point, from the price at the entry position. The pattern is generally deemed to fail when the price action goes above the sloping downwards trend line instead of breaking below the triangle. Please like and subscribe to help us grow as a channel and share more videos. Symmetrical Triangle A symmetrical triangle is a forks trading pattern that traders try to identify in any time frame. It is among the most common neutral chart formations, and it can provide either a bullish or bearish entry signal. A symmetrical triangle happens when two trend lines are converging in the chart. Usually, an uptrend connects a series of higher lows, and a downtrend connects a series of lower highs. The signal comes when the pair breaks above or below the symmetrical triangle pattern. Profit targets would result from the sum between the low or high of the triangle and the price where the position is entered. That number of pips is added to the opening price, and the result is the profit target. The stop loss is placed at the previous meaningful low or high before the break, depending on the position's direction. The pattern fails when the triangle comes to an end, and the price action remains in a neutral stance or range bound. Engulfing Pattern Engulfing patterns are popular among candlestick chart users as it goes into the chart's intrinsic nature. They can work in all time frames and can be easily identified. It suggests an immediate and strong change in the direction of the forks pair. In an uptrend, this signal comes when a declining candle body completely engulfs the prior rising candle body. In a downtrend, the call comes when a rising candlestick body engulfs the previous down candle. The position is opened after the engulfing candle is completed and a new candle is generated. It trades in the closing direction of the engulfing candle. The stop loss is set below the low or above the high of the pattern. Although there is no widely accepted profit target in this trading chart pattern, there are two popular ways to determine a profit target. Firstly, you can use the same chart pattern to identify subsequent trend changes and close the position. Secondly, you can combine it with another strategy or technical levels, such as Fibonacci, support and resistance, or round numbers, to set a take profit target. Finally, this chart pattern can also be used as an exit strategy for other running trade positions as it suggests a change in the odds of the pair from continuation to reversal. Rising Wedges Wedges are advanced forks chart patterns that work with a series of price movements limited by converging trend lines. A wedge can be either rising or falling depending on the movement's direction and are popular among forks traders as having a good track record as price reversal signals. A rising wedge happens when a trend is moving between two parallel lines that are converging slightly. It is formed by a series of higher lows and higher highs. The entry signal comes when the price action falls below the rising wedge's bottom line and performs a candle close below that breaking level. Then, the pair should retest the support previously broken that is now acting as resistance as confirmation. The entry point is set at the confirmation level. Stop losses are usually placed at the swing high previous to the break. The wedge chart pattern offers extra profit taking options depending on the strength of the break. As a profit level, you can select any preliminary support set when the formation developed. Falling wedges as the opposite of rising wedges, the falling wedge chart pattern occurs when a downtrend moves between two semi-parallel lines. It is a succession of lower highs and lower lows in which bears are initially in control. The entry signal is generated when the price action breaks above the falling wedge's top line and closes the period above that given line. Then, the pair should retest the resistance previously broken that is now acting as support. This will be your confirmation. The entry point is set at the confirmation level. Stop losses are usually placed at the low previous to the break. 
The wedge chart pattern offers several potential take profit target levels depending on the strength of the break. You can select any preliminary resistance tested when the pattern was forming. How to read Forex chart patterns in trading. Forex chart patterns are powerful graphical representations of what is going on in the market. They help to identify potential movements in profitable trades. They represent a market's technical conditions in real time and tell you what the market is doing right now. As traders, we do not know for sure what will happen in the future, but we look for hints that align in the same direction so that we can open and close positions with some confidence that the odds are on our side. The idea behind chart patterns is that statistically, prices make structures, and those structures anticipate reactions. Patterns give us hints. However, the art of how to read forks chart patterns is incomplete if you do not apply other studies such as volume, risk, reward ratio, and some fundamental factors. The first step to trade a chart pattern is to locate a price structure that complies with all requirements for that formation. Do not cheat by trying to force it because the market will make you pay. A good chart pattern jumps out at you, you do not have to look for it too hard. After identifying the pattern, you should consider how much money you are willing to put at risk and how much your reward will be. Experts tend to recommend a 1 to 3 risk to reward ratio, which means that you will get 3 pips for each one you put at risk if the trade works out in your favor. Now that you have your trading plan designed, please examine wider market conditions, volume in the pair, and independent aspects that can affect your trade. Such movements can be a significant economic event, fundamental factors, or a considerable resistance or support line just in front of the pattern. Finally, follow your trading plan. Show respect for your analysis and follow profit targets and stop losses. You can obviously do extra research once your targets are reached and adapt yourself to any change in market conditions. Let your winners run and cut your losses. Pros and Cons of Forks Chart Pattern As you may know, Forks trading is not an exact science, neither are the investment markets. With that in mind, we should understand that no strategy can guarantee a 100% winning formula. Like most things in life, popular chart patterns and formations have advantages and disadvantages. Pros of Chart Patterns Statistically, chart patterns provide hints on what a Forks pair will do in the near future. Chart patterns offer full trading plans, including opening price, take profit targets, and stop losses. You can add other studies for confirmation and the chart should still work correctly. It is easy to learn and understand how to read Forks chart patterns. Cons of chart patterns. It takes time for chart patterns to form. Not all chart patterns work in more than two different time frames. Subjectivity can play a principal role in patterns localization. Chart patterns can deliver false signals. Final thoughts. Should you use Forks chart patterns in your trading? It depends on what you are more comfortable with and what adapts better to your trading profile. The good thing with chart patterns is that several formations serve different needs and trading styles.